<laughs> All right, guys. Um, Glenn Trayer, Mountain Man Journals. Um, we just did the video on my wife shooting her turkey. Um, now we're going to do one on how to clean the turkey. How I clean the turkey and uh, how to cut the beard off and you know all that stuff. Um, how to cut the tail off if you want to keep the tail, the fan, how to do all that stuff. So I guess with that being said, um, we're going to start here and move this camera a little bit. This will be airing on Tammy Trayer's Mountain Woman Journals also. Yes, it'll be on both uh, both um, YouTube, YouTube channel. channels. I'll move it back here so you can see a little better. Hopefully. I might have to get... I don't know, this doesn't want to stand too well. There, the camera. Yeah, let me get this adjusted, guys. Sorry about this. Um, oh. Do you need a piece of wood underneath there? No. I can adjust the leg. Okay. Alright. Now, hopefully you'll be able to see all this. Um, starters, we're going to take... We're going to take and we're going to cut the beard off first. Okay, first thing, we was dragging that in the ground, it's rubbed off pretty straight. But you come in, and you can feel the base, where the base of the, the beard is. Um, and you can, you can feel it right there, where it kind of starts. You don't want to get too close, or it'll, um, all the, the hairs will fall out. You get too far away, and you're not getting a proper measurement. So come in here and you just take your knife and cut it cut it down cut it off now there's hopefully you can see that there's a lot of stuff here on the top yet that's not your true measurement so you have to clean that up a little bit what a great way to start the morning <laughs> <laughs> yeah it was Now, you can see there, that's your true measurement. It's kind of hard. Right right there, that's your true measurement. So now, what we'll do is take and stretch out our tape. And you put that in the very tip of your tape. And you run this down. And you stretch it out. And the longest hair is the one... <laughs> Is the one you measure. Dun, dun, dun. Seven and a half inches. There we go. Seven and a half inches. I'll take it. That's a nice, nice, pretty heavy, mm -hmm. heavy beard. That's a nice, nice beard. Mm -hmm. So now we can measure the spurs. <clears throat> Just take and go to the tip, and I'm going to use. Just go right off the tip of your spur, right back to where they go into the leg. And they are about 7 eighths of an inch. So they're pretty nice spurs. No. So, now, to cut these legs off, what you do is there's the joint right here. You want to take that and use the back of your knife because you want the tip of your knife for cutting the meat and stuff like that. So you'll just take and you use the back of your knife the most doing this stuff. And you go all the way around. And a sharp knife is stellar. You don't want to be using a dull knife for any of this. No. Sharp knife is very important. And there you go. There's your foot. Taking your foot off. And I have to uh, say now, at this point of doing this, that 
I have to uh, say thank you to uh, my father for teaching me how to do all this. And um, Papa T, you're going to like my picture. I didn't get to send it to you yet. <laughs> so thanks, Dad, for showing me how to do all this. Now, <clears throat> you come in to get the tail. You want to come in here and pull your tail together and you don't want to go get that wing out of there. You just hold it, just hold the front there. You betcha. And you don't want to come in too close or you'll cut all these nice um, feathers off here. So you want to come in to about right in here and you can and reach around you can put your whole hand around right where the tail connects. You can feel where it connects. You reach right around it, right right there. And you want those other feathers in the front because mm -hmm. they have such color to them. They yeah. really add to it. Yep. And you don't want to, that's why you don't want to cut them off. So you come right in where you can feel, you can feel where the tail starts. I mean, you can, you can, it's like a distinct feeling. So then you come in and you just cut right down there. That is one nice fan. Yeah, it's a real nice fan. <laughs> a real nice fan. And uh, there you go. Wow, look at that. That is nice. Sweet. <laughs> and I'll I'll show I'll show how to you know stretch it out and do everything okay. then. And uh, salt it down and everything. So, all right. Um, let me check this camera. Like I said, this timer on here. Set it off and restart it. Yeah, I'm gonna have to shut this down. Uh, my battery light's blinking too, so I'm gonna put a new battery in, and then I'll show, start showing the butchering part of everything. So, all right, guys, we'll see you in a little bit. All right, guys, um, we're back. Well, we got back just in time. Um, it started, uh, just started raining pretty good, so. All right, here we go. Now, what you do is um, you take and you come here in the on is the, the breastbone, the big breastbone right here in front, and you'll feel that. And you can pull the feathers back. A lot of times on the, these gobblers, they're wore down from strutting. Their chest will hit the ground and stuff. Um, so, and you'll see that bald spot there. That's where you want to make your cut. You take and you, you might have to pull a couple, couple feathers back, you know, but uh, then you just make a slice right on that breastbone. Gently. Yep. And just, just enough to go through the skin. Then you grab that on either side of that slice and get your fingers in there and you pull put your fingers in there and you just underneath the skin and you just pull that back and for you ladies it goes really really easy you know this isn't this is easy stuff birds are really easy to clean and you just keep pulling pulling that those feathers down Keep pulling it, working it down, working it back. Now, up here in the front, I'm going to spin this around. Try and keep most, as many feathers off of him as you can. It just makes it easier. Up here in the front. He's nice and fatty. Yeah, he is. Nice. Um, Fat means tasty. Just keep pulling this down. Now. Up here in the front, this here section, that's like um, the crawl or whatever, that, where they get all their food in there. And you just kind of got to keep work, you just work at that. Sometimes it can be a pain um, to get a hold of it. But you want to get that and pull it out of there. So you don't accidentally cut it. You don't want to cut that. If you can help it. And there's some fat there. I'll just take some of that fat and just cut it, cut it back. Um, oh, he's really fatty. Yeah. Nice. 
Now you don't want to cut too much of that fat off because like she said, that's that gives your meat flavor. Big time. So so you just keep and you just pull that right on back back around. Now you can see I'm gonna cut this down the back just a little bit. Pull that all, all right back. Big breast meat, nice. Yeah. Now, little trick. You get feathers stuck on your fingers. Places like up here in the front, you can just wipe them off. It usually sticks to that, that stuff and then you can wipe them feathers right off. Now, what I do is, normally I would hold this right in front of me. Um, directly in front of me, which I'm, I might do that. I have to spin, spin, spin him just a little bit so you can see um, how I do this. Um, okay, now, what, what you do is, <clears throat> you, <clears throat> excuse me. All that pollen got to you. Yeah. <laughs> um, right here in the front, you can see where the breast is, and right along the bone, you can see the bone here. You come right and keep your knife angled in towards the the bone. A nice fillet knife really works yeah. good for this. Or a nice butcher knife like this. Yeah. That you come, can get in close. Come in and you keep you just keep cutting right along the bone. Keep coming down. Mm -hmm. Just follow follow that bone. That's all fat. Keep coming right in along, along that that bone there, right down in the front. Now, if you wanted to, you can take and you know pluck them, or do like we did on our chicken video, you know, scald them, um, stuff like that. If you wanted to do them, like you get them in the stores, um, you know, something like that. But uh, I, this is just a little simpler and you're you're not gaining a whole whole lot of meat by doing that. You want to hold on to that bit? Yeah. You can just pull on that. Yeah. Keep some pressure there. And keep in mind with him cutting real close to the bone like that, I mean that's all your breast meat. You want to cut as close to the bone as you can so you're not wasting any meat. Yep. Now in the back, you want to be careful back here in the back that you don't cut into the gut. Um, you want to be real careful. Come right down, keep coming right along that breastbone. And the, the edge of, you know, like his cavity, his stomach cavity and stuff. Come right down in. And you come right down around to the, the wing like. And just keep slicing it back, slicing it down. Takes a little bit of practice, but uh, with a little practice, you can you can get it. It's not that difficult. Now, sometimes you can just take and pull. That's a little tough. Uh, it's not quite there. There you, there, you just kind of keep working it, and you want to kind of be careful too that you don't cut into your skin and cut your skin and you left skin on there and stuff but uh, so there's there's a nice slab of meat that's a big big pile of breast meat there that's that's a that's a nice pile of meat right there so mm -hmm. put that in the bowl now what I do is is I take the bird and I swing it back this way so um, it's always facing towards me. Then I'll take and I'll do the the same the same thing that I did on excuse me on the other side on this side. I'll just angle my knife in, come right along that breastbone. And you can get, you can see, I'm, I'm hopefully you can see, um, I'm getting all that meat that's 
on there. Now this is where, right in here, is where you want to be careful you don't get your uh, stomach cavity. Get into your stomach cavity at all. Because that just lays right there is where that stomach's at. Oh, oh easy, easy killer. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Um, you want to yeah, hold just on to that? Pull my sleeves up. There we go. Ooh. Tell you Slippery guys, <laughs> I got a good woman. Ain't too many women are going to do this stuff. <laughs> but you just keep cutting right along the, the bone there. Come up here. Yeah. And then you just keep working it, you know. And watch you don't cut into your leg too much there, because you can waste some meat. And you just kind of keep pulling. Keep pulling, keep pressure out. That'll help keep um, when you're cutting to, to um, get all your meat. I think it's really important for women to know how to dress the animals that they kill because, you know, you never know what kind of situation you're going to be in. Um, and it is really important to know not to get into the stomach and, and, and to the, some of the organs because you pollute your meat. So, you know, this is good knowledge for everybody, kids included. Kids should know yep. how to, to handle the meat that they there harvest you. also. There you go. There's another nice piece. Yummy. <laughs> Mm -hmm. um, now, uh, I got to check this camera again. Uh, I'm going to go check on the coffee and make sure timer. the boy's not burning it. Okay. <laughs> I got to shut it off and turn it right back on here quick, guys. So, Okay. Now, um, what we do is my wife went to check on the coffee. That's a good thing. <laughs> um, with the legs here um, you you take and you can peel it peel it back you know and you reach up underneath the leg between the the leg and the skin you can just work it as far up there as you can reach you just keep pushing up along there then be careful and it's better if you can swing swing it like this and put your finger up in there and you spread it out like that and you take the knife and you stick it up in there like that and you slice right up there That's quick and easy yep just take and like i said i showed you i just stick it in between your fingers watch yeah no killing the huntress <laughs> and you just keep cutting right up that leg just watch your fingers be very careful with your fingers and you just keep pushing right up <clears throat> working that right up the leg as far up as you can get it to go then when you get it up there you take and you slice keep cutting till you've cut the um, the skin all the way up the leg the whole the whole way up the, the leg there now this how I'm showing you how to do this this is just how I do it I'm sure there's many other ways to do it but this is just how I do it so then you take and you work around the leg working that skin away from the leg Right, right around like this until until you can reach completely through like that and you take and you just pull up towards you and keep working that skin and until you pull it completely off right off the top of the the leg there now sometimes you have a little bit of skin left at the top there. Just take and slice that right off. What makes birds easy is their skin isn't very thick. So, and what he's showing you with the turkey, you can do the same process with the chicken, with a grouse, really any bird, pheasant. 
um, clean them the same way. Yeah. Yep. So. Yeah. So <clears throat> what you do is then you pull your feathers back and you keep pulling it down, keep pulling it right down, right in over, right in over the back, like right in there. You keep work it right around, right around there, right right to his back, like. Cause you don't want to miss any meat. <laughs> no. It's tasty. Okay. Now, what you do is you, know, you can pick some of these feathers off here. Get, you know, it's easier to get them, I think, now. It very much so. Rather than when you uh, clean it off in your water. Yeah, because when you, when you wet the turkey, this layer, thin layer of, like, film that I'm hanging on to here actually bubbles up. It gets kind of um, like a jellyfish almost and it does get really hard to grab a hold of the feathers. So if you can clean them off now, now's the time you want to do it because yeah. it's really easy to grab a hold of them. So you come down. Now she actually, when she shot, she broke the leg. So I'm going to have to, there, it popped. But I don't know. I think it broke that leg. So I'll have to show you a little better on the other side how to get that joint. Um, there's a joint in there that you uh, you want to try and get, but I think she, when she shot it, the, one of the pellets hit hit that. So either that or from hawking at home. <laughs> there's there's a nice chunk of meat there, guys and ladies. Nice. This. Uh, Real nice, real nice chunk of meat there. A lot of meat on that leg. So, nice. okay. Now, what we'll do is we'll take and we'll do the same thing on this side. Pull that skin as far down around there, right around. Now, you take your. Uh, I'll get out of your way now. You're on the you leg. Take your your fingers and go right up underneath there push that right up through as far up in there as you can reach again take your your fingers put them up in there spread your fingers apart put the knife in there watch your fingers and your assistant and anybody around you <laughs> and uh, then you just keep working that right up the leg Right to the top, all the way up. Sometimes you can take and just kind of skin this back just a little bit. All right, then you just take and you go, you know, pull that skin back all the way around until you're completely around the uh, the leg. The skin is separated from the from the leg. Then you just take and grab a hold down here and pull straight up towards you and it just peels peels off now it can get a little tough sometimes once you get up here close to the top of the leg um, it can get you can start getting a little tough to pull it you know to pull it off but see there I left a little bit of skin on there that's no big deal you just take and cut that Cut that off. Just cut it right off of there. All right. Now, now, hopefully this one isn't broke. <laughs> Just pull this down. Do it again. Go all the way over the back. I think so. Um. Pick your feathers off the best you can. Now, I don't know that wing. <laughs> it's getting in the way. I'll hold, I'll that. hold that back. Yeah. Now that that right here, you just take and you hold on to this and you pull down, or you can push. And you, I don't know if you heard that crack or not, but that was where it popped out of the socket. So now. And you come right in, right in along there, and you can see where that joint, hopefully you can see that, 
right where that join is. Watch yourself. Um, right down. You can see right, right in there. It can get kind of. Sometimes you got to pull it a little bit. Those of you who might be a little weak in the stomach, you might not want to do this, but. And you'll get used to it. Yeah. You know, it's. And you just slice it right down to where it connects to the skin, and you can take and pull that right up. And there you go. Pick your feathers off the best, you know, pretty much the best you can there. It does then, definitely make it easier than picking them off like this. And see, you can see you can wipe it right on there and uh, comes right off your fingers there. So, and there you go. A nice piece of uh, leg. And that's now, your dark meat, which is your most flavorful meat. So that you want that nice fat wrapped around there. Okay. Good stuff. And now, some people don't eat it. Personally, we do. I like it. Um, and that is the gizzard and the heart. Um, some people don't like that stuff. I grew up eating it. I enjoy it. You can see, hopefully here, you can see the difference in color here. Right in here. That is the gut cavity. Where you go into the gut cavity. Come up here close to your um, where your breastbone is and make a slight incision just so you go through. You don't want to get into them guts. And then when you can see where your guts are at, then you can pull and slice and a lot of blood in there. We don't waste anything from the animals that we harvest. Yeah, when we when we shoot something we get as much of the meat off of them as we pretty much can now this is the gizzard right here take that pull pull that and get that some of that slime off and this is where it connects into your um, gut cavity. Now, when you're cutting this, be careful because this is where the meat is, or the, the food that they eat is processed. Like the grass and stuff. There's tiny grit in that, and when you're cutting, that'll dull your knife. So be very careful. You want to get most of that out of there as you can. Just kind of reach up in there and not gonna hurt you. Won't kill you. No. It's just grass. Just grass and bugs right. and stuff. Now, you take, and after you got some of that out of there, you take and um, right in the center, you make a slice again, watching your hands and the how deep you cut, because you'll get into the the grit. Make a make a small slice, you know, right from the to the bottom of your gizzard, from the top. Now you just take and fold that out, and all that, all that um, stuff in there will uh, come out. Now there's like a thin layer on here that uh, you peel off, and you can it's in between the outer part and the inner part there. You can see it, it, it peels, it'll peel right up. Typically it's like fluorescent green yeah, in you color. Can, hopefully you can see that, the difference yeah. in, in those different pieces. Just take it and it'll, it'll peel right off of there. And there goes all your junk. And that's, yeah. yep, that's all your, the, the nasty stuff. <laughs> so, and that's ready to go, ready to go in the cooker. If you haven't ever tried it, I encourage you to try that in your heart. Yeah, the heart, um, especially in deer and elk because it's a massive heart. Oh, wow, is that ever good. Now you just reach up in there and you might have to feel around a little bit and uh, 
find out where your heart's at, the heart's at there. You just reach in and you just find it, pull it, and just pull it right out of there. And there might be a little bit left on the top here. Just take your knife, watch your fingers again, and cut the right across the top there and that'll cut it off. Nice. And there's the heart. Nice there you go. That That's good eating right there guys. That is good eating. That's very high in iron. Um, good for you. Very, very good for you. Very good for you. The heart and deer and stuff like that is high in iron and calcium and stuff. It's very good for you. It's very, very filling. A lot too. Of, yeah, very filling. So that's how I butcher a chicken, or I mean a turkey. Um, or chicken, or like she said, you know. Uh, 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 and if you wanted to, you could get the neck meat out. Um, Usually I don't do that, but um, you could if you if you needed a little more meat. But there's not much there, so. Um, but that's how I do a, a, a turkey, and like I said, you can do, or she said, you can do, um, you know, chickens, uh, pheasant, pheasant, quail, chucker, grouse, yeah. you know, all kinds of stuff. Any game bird. Any game birds like that, you can do this way. Yeah. So, well, hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, thanks, baby. Yep. Yeah. Good job, babe. <laughs> uh, thanks for getting, putting some food in our freezer. Mm -hmm. And uh, those of you who are on Mountain Woman Journals watching this, yep. um, thank you for watching and yep. watching, supporting my wife. And those of you who are on Mountain Man Journals, um, Thanks for all your support and, and watching my videos and, and hope yeah. everybody's enjoying this. Yeah, we and appreciate you all. Yeah. Very much. Time. <laughs> so, well, I guess with that being said, guys, take care. God bless. And we'll catch you on the next one. All right. Have a good one. Take care. Um, she had something she wanted to say here. Once you guys have your meat... Um, taken off the bird and you have it in a pan, you want to put a good bit of salt in here and cover it with water. That will draw any of the excess blood out of your meat so that if there's blood in your meat, it's going to give it that gamey taste. That's a lot of times where the gaminess comes from. It's also from uh, cooking it too fast on high heat. Um, but you want to soak that. and. Oftentimes we soak our meats for a day or two. Couple days. Just to, especially your heart, like on a deer or an elk, you want to soak it. Heart or liver on, yeah. a, on a deer or an elk or something like that. You want to soak it. Uh, a, an, a, a liver and a heart is for a deer or an elk or something like that is better to uh, soak it for about four to five days. And slice S it. Yeah, slice it open so the meat or the blood can draw out. Yeah. Um, and and change the water every day yep. change that water out put new salt and new water. cold water put it back in the refrigerator yeah. and do it every day yeah and keep it refrigerated or you'll end up with all kinds of bacteria in your meat so yeah. but the salt also helps preserve it as well you know if you're planning to smoke your meats um, it's a nice brine to start your meats in um, before you go smoking it. You know, salt you it first add and then stuff into it. Yeah, and then add additional things. But but definitely salt your meat. That'll help draw the excess blood out and help you clean it good. So. So there you have it. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Well, hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, we had a good time uh, sharing it with you guys mm -hmm. and. Uh, had a, had a great hunt. Yeah, thanks for joining so, me on my hunt. That was sweet. <laughs> yep. So, I guess with that being said, take care. God bless, guys, and uh, we'll see you on the next one.